guys, Tybo here alongside Craig Duncan, the head of Rare. And how you doing? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm awesome. Like, it's surreal. Like, we've got people playing our game and they're loving it. So, yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed, but in a good way. So tell us about um, what is Sea of Thieves for people who don't know. Yeah, I mean, Sea of Thieves is a, it's a pirate game. I guess everyone knew that. Um, it's really about friends going on adventures together. So, you know, we want people to crew up. You know, set sail for adventure, explore our world, see other pirate ships. Like, it, it's really, you know, I guess, you know, the most immersive pirate game ever made. So we see people uh, communicating back here. Um, how will that affect solo people if they don't communicate on the microphone? Will they be able to still have fun? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're still very early uh, in uh, in development. So um, obviously, what we're showing here at E3 is the first time we've let real players play the game. Uh, and we've set up, yeah, we've got 15 stations, and we've got three sh three ships, three crews, uh, five people, and we're we're using headsets. Okay. Um, you know, we we get that not everyone like yeah. likes talking the game. I mean, we definitely want to encourage uh, cooperation because ultimately our game is a is a positive experience. It's you and your crew against the world. Yeah. Um, but plenty of games have solved that problem, and you know whether it's kind of emos or text chat, or, like there's a number of kind of very known ways to fix that. Uh, we're not worried about that yet because really it's about the gameplay and the experience, and, and just you know honing that core, you know, pirate, um, you know, crew crew-based competitive, cooperative and competitive experience. So how would you say how big the land is and how big the ocean is? And how would you compare it to other games the size of the so, so far? So I wouldn't compare Sea of Thieves to other games because yeah. it's not like any yeah. other game. Um, for me, like the, the sense of discovery is actually what's really important. So you know, one of the things we're purposely not doing is talking about the world or the number of islands or the size because like as as you've seen in the uh, in the briefing video we did, like we want players to just go and explore and we want yeah. players to find that out for themselves. And, and you know, it's a fantastical world, so there's nothing to stop us like you know, do, doing different things with the world. Or, you know, it's a game we, we absolutely expect to evolve over time, so you know, there's nothing to stop us having islands appear and out of the sea and, and, and changing what the landscape is. Do we expect ship customization and character customization in the future when it launches? Do, do you think players will expect that? Yeah, I mean, so, lot, I expect a lot of customization options. So, so yeah, and, and it's, it's a great question. And absolutely, we expect players to uh, to you know to want to be the pirate they want to be, and they want to customize their ship and, and and show up the way they want to show up in the game. So, yeah, we don't just players will expect to do that. It's something we want to make sure we satisfy. Will there be any special ability, abilities for uh, players you play as? You don't really play as a player. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. You know, there's no real notion of like a, a black beard or a black pearl in our game. Yeah. Like, we want players to become the legends of our game. Okay. So, you know, if it's if it's you and your Rectify Gaming crew, like, we want you guys to build your own legacy yeah. and your own reputation. And yeah, you know, the way people play now with you know, like, with you know, streaming their games or you know, making videos or talking on social media about their game, like, we know like crews will end up with some notoriety because of the way they play and what they do in the game and, and we actually like we're really just fascinated how that develops like that's what i think will end up being the stories about our game also we see a lot of people wrecking ships around here will you have crew members be able to fix the ship while it's being wrecked so, so we have that we have that here now yeah uh, so um you know, I, and I think, yeah, we, it was definitely in our, uh, our briefing trailer, we've, like, we've done so much stuff, but, um, you know, that feeling you get, like, when you go down in and get down into the, the body of the ship, and there's holes and there's water pouring in and your ship flooded, like, you're equipped with wood, so you can, you can literally, like, repair the ship. Um, one of the decisions we made for E3, because, like I say, we've got, like, a four-hour line and we're trying to get people through as quick as we can, um, is, like, the, re the way we can get people through in a 15, 20 minute experience is we let them repair the ship, so we let them patch the holes. Um, we actually have buckets in the build we've got back up here, so you can bail out water as well. Um, but we, we purposely didn't put that in the E3 build because we actually want people to sink uh, so we can kind of like get them off, get the next people on. So while I'm on the ocean, I'm in the middle of the sea, while yep. I meet up with random people from like online, like random people. So, so that's why we call it a shared world adventure game. And, and really, you know, for us, that's a, 
you know, it's a game that's always changing and, and we love the vision from, from very early on that if you see a set of sales on the horizon, like you know that's another set of real players because every pirate in our game is a real is a real human being. So so we want you as a crew to to have that moment you see in like pirate movies where it's like, oh I've spotted another set of ships and they've probably spotted us as well. And like what does that mean? Like do we go engage with them? Do we you know do we sail away? Like maybe we've just come out of the ship now. Maybe maybe our ship's limped into port. Maybe seeing another ship and getting engaged like yeah. that's not what you want to do. Yeah. So we want all of those emerging possibilities to, to be there for players to experience. So one one last question. How, yeah. how does the leveling progression work in this game? So, so, so we're not talking about that now. Okay. Uh, and part of that's just because you know we really wanted to get it get it in players' hands. Like we know players will want to play different ways. We know some players will want to play and and explore and, and we know some players like will be combat focused and we know some players will be social focused. Like, and we really want to let players you know, progress in a way that makes sense for their play style, mood and motivation. So that's kind of about as much as we're talking about on that. Alright, awesome. Thank you for this interview, by the that's way. That's right. Great time. Anything else you'd like to say to everyone? Uh, thanks for the support. Like, love that people are interested in our game. Really interested in hearing what you think. And you know, go to cfthieves.com, go to our Twitter handle. Uh, like, let us know. Let us know what, what you want in the game. Like, community feedback is super important to us. Um, like, we, we love hearing what people want to see in Sea of Thieves. Right, thank you for uh, sending your questions on Twitter and stay tuned for more E3 2016 coverage. This is Tyboy and I'm Adam.